In today's video, we're going to flip a book in Apple Motion without using any third party plugins. Let's get started. Step 1. Animate the front cover. First, let's add a camera and select Switch to 3D. The hardcover of the book usually doesn't bend around when you flip it, so we'll keyframe its Y rotation, making it go from 0 to minus 179 degrees. Let's quickly edit rotation keyframes to adjust the animation speed. The reason why we didn't rotate it to minus 180 degrees is that the project is in 3D space, so if it's rotated minus 180 degrees, the cover will go behind the background. So to solve this issue, you can either offset the hardcover by setting its Y position to minus 179, or offset the background by changing its Z rotation to minus 1 pixel. Step 2. Animate the first paper. Now let's hide the front cover group and continue with the first piece of paper. Each paper has two pages, and we'll group these two pages together. We'll keyframe the group's Y position, making it go from 0 to minus 178 degrees. Again, adjust the animation speed. Unlike the hardcover, this paper is flexible and it'll bend when you flip it. So we'll add the Page Curl Distortion Filter. Set the duration of the Page Curl Filter and keyframe its rotation, radius and percent. The percent parameter control allows us to adjust the amount of curl. We'll make it go from 50 to 0 so that the paper will be flipped to the other side. Select Bezier Interpolation for all keyframes. The radius parameter lets you adjust the lightning near the gutter. Let's add another keyframe to the percent parameter like this. And we'll use this keyframe to decide when the paper starts to bend. It should be right here when the paper has just passed the gutter line. Then use the graph editor to smooth out the animation speed. Notice that when you show the front cover, the first paper is no longer visible. To fix this issue, we'll move the front cover group and place it just above the back cover group. The front cover starts changing its visibility at frame 11 like this. So we'll duplicate the front cover group and move this duplicated group to the very top. Then set its out point right here at frame 10. Drag the playhead to the 10th frame, and hit O to set the out point. And the starting point of the original front cover group should be at frame 10. Select the original front cover group and hit I at frame 10 to set its in point.
We also need to rearrange the gutter group, placing it above the spine group. And we'll have the front cover and first paper nicely animated like so. Step 3. Animate other papers. After the first paper is animated, we'll copy its keyframes to other papers. We also need to copy the page curl filter. Then offset these groups in our timeline to flip one paper at a time. and arrange the paper group's order. The first paper should be under the second paper, second paper under the third paper, and so on. Next we'll duplicate the first paper group. Remove the page curl filter from this duplicated group. Make sure the group starts at the beginning of the timeline. Then delete its rotation keyframes because we want to remove any animation from this duplicated group. It will act as a still paper, and will disappear when the first paper starts flipping. The first paper begins flipping here, so move the playhead here, select the still paper group, and hit O to set its out point. As you can see, there's a shadow suddenly appearing at this frame where the still paper ends. We'll add the page curl filter to this still paper. Deselect the animate checkbox. Set the angle and rotation to 0, and radius to 6. Let's check the parameters of the first paper's page curl filter. We need to make sure that the still paper's parameter values are the same as the starting values of the first paper's page curl filter. Let's continue doing the same to other papers.
let's check our entire animation. There are some missing page numbers, let's find where they are and set their out point correctly. And we've finished our animation. The project files of this tutorial are available to download on our website. For more information about our Motion 5 project files, please check the link in the description section below. Thank you for watching our tutorial and see you in the next video.